Welcome to Thrill Thrifter. Today's video is going to be a lot different. This beautiful soup terrain, y'all, it is thrifted. I'm diving right into this video today and showing y'all all of the items that I have in my fall totes. That soup terrain, y'all, was made in Japan. I love it. I already have it styled. That platter I've had for a while was not thrifted. If it's thrifted, I'll just put it on the screen for you. But we're just going to dive right in here. I actually lost the audio to the first part of this video, so you will just hear a voice over here in the beginning. These little teacups I use in my sugar and flour as scoops and they are so cute. I love just a lot of the glassware that I have thrifted over the years and then a couple of pieces I got at Target on a very steep clearance for like 90% off one year. Those amber little canisters I showed you a while ago and then this little scarf I got at the Target. Um, what do they call it now? It's not the dollar spot anymore. It's something else but that's where I got it and then this burnt orange blanket I got at I believe TJ Maxx and then just some more beautiful thrifted glass pieces and just a lot of different little things that I do now have styled in my home and I think it will be so fun for y'all to see all of these items um, coming out of these totes and then hopefully in the next week or two I'll be able to do a fall home tour and you'll get to see them all styled. Okay so I have one bin emptied so now I'm going to work on the other one. Kara is actually here. She's waiting on me to go through this stuff to see what I don't want so she can take it. <laughs> That's how they do me. Kara's my daughter. My oldest my oldest daughter. So anyway I've got this one emptied now I'm going to go through the second one and see what goodies I have waiting for me in there. Kara's showing me a towel she just got at Target and it's just almost like the blanket that I just got at the Bells outlet and I love this. So now I need one of these towels. Well here do you want it then? No. <laughs> I love these wreaths. I pull these out every year. I got them at Hobby Lobby a while back and they make me the happiest. They have the most beautiful colors in them. So I'll definitely be keeping these. I think I actually, yeah, I have two of these. Okay, so now we're getting into just a bunch of pumpkins. I really don't have as much fall stuff as I thought and I'm really not wanting to put out a bunch of pumpkins. So like I said, Kara's here behind me, ready to take probably whatever I don't want. So I'll probably have a lot of pumpkins to get rid of. So here's a bunch of white pumpkins. Let's see, because if, if y'all remember, well you probably don't remember, I don't expect you to remember, but last year I did a whole thing along my fireplace mantle with baskets. I'll put a link to that in the description box if you want to go look. So I will probably hang on to these little velvet looking pumpkins. I really like the color of these. So I have a bag of those and some of these. So I'll probably just hang on to those. And let's see what else do I have in here. Now I will probably get rid of these because I've had these for several years and I'm just kind of tired of these. So it's just these little, and these are really cute to put in stuff. So I don't know, I might keep the white ones and get rid of the green ones. So that's all that's in there. And then here's more pumpkins. These are just a little bit bigger. We're getting rid of these. Green ones. I'll probably keep the green. What's in here? Something's in here that's wrapped. I think this is. Oh, a bigger like amber bottle here. I'm going to get rid of this. I had this last year and I never used it and I don't think I want to use it again this year. So go into Kara. I have this, but this is more of a put out around Thanksgiving time. I'm trying to get it to focus. These little cutouts, they're so cute. I got these at Goodwill for 99 cents last year, I think. And it's just like these little Super cute little cutouts right here. So sweet. I think I'm going to hang on to those. I kind of like those. And then I have, I don't decorate really a whole lot anymore for Halloween. Like when the kids were little, I put out a lot more, you know, jack-o'-lanterns and stuff like that. So I do still have these. I just really, I think these are cute and I will put these out, you know, a couple weeks before 
Halloween just on the bar or somewhere. I usually just will stick a couple little things out here and there. Just really fun, sweet things. And I also got these, I think, at a garage sale a long time ago. So I will hang on to those. Put those out a little closer to Halloween time. Oh, and then I got this. It's also going to be for Halloween. Um, because I think he's so cute. This is just another one of those pumpkins. So I have two of those. And then I have this, it's Little Mummy. I got this at the Salvation Army, I think last year at the end of fall. And I thought that this was so fun. This would be cute with candy and stuff in it. Like I said, I'll probably put this out also a couple of weeks before Halloween. Again, I don't decorate and do a lot of Halloween things. Um, but uh, you know, he's funny. I mean, he's just, he's cute and he's fun. So I think I'll stick him out just for the kids, put some candy in there. I might change this little thing out here, but I thought this was a fun little piece. I'm gonna hang on to him. <clears throat> and then the rest, that's just some little figurines I've had for a long, long time. I won't be decorating with those. And I really don't have a whole lot more. Oh, I have this and I'll use this to probably put a candle on because I love this mustard yellow looking color, but it needs a good wash, so. Oh, and I did remember I got these last year, these coffee mugs. Come on camera, focus for us. And I think they're super pretty. I think I'm gonna hang them off a peg rail or something. I think I have two of these. Yeah, I have two of these. So there's the other one right there. Then let's see, I'm probably gonna get rid of this because this is also the second year that I pulled it out and I'm just, I'm not interested. So I'm gonna probably get rid of that. These little pumpkin stir spoons. I think these are so cute. I've had these for years. Got them at Hobby Lobby. And then let's see. Oh, and I got this thrifting last year. I did get rid of a lot of stuff last year that was like real wordy. That's my dog's nails you hear in the background. Just come see what I'm doing. But I'll probably keep this one. I think it's really cute. Maybe put it in the bathroom or something. I just remembered I had this bin of floral stuff. So I'm gonna go through this real quick too. There's some stuff in here I might want to get rid of. But I don't think I'm going to do that basket thing like I did last year. There's some wheat. Uh, I like that. But like these, I'll probably be getting rid of these because I just don't, I'm not crazy about that color. But somebody else might be able to enjoy them. Plus, I got a bunch of new florals. Care do you like these? I was wondering where all my towels were. Well, here they are from last year. Those in the wash. Okay, y'all, that's gonna wrap it up. That is everything that I have in my fall totes for this year. I did have a picture out in my shed that I forgot to show here, and then my pumpkin pie plate. They are all already styled, so I just kind of forgot to put them on camera today. But anyway, we hope that y'all have a wonderful week. We love y'all, and I'll see you back here Friday with a brand new thrifting video.